We went to Andiamo. <laughs> you know I love Andiamo. <laughs> what do I always get? The chicken fettuccine Alfredo. <laughs> Extra Parmesan, please. <laughs> I told him you might as well just leave the little Parmesan on the table because I'm gonna need it a few times. So <laughs> it, it was so nice and he was so sweet. He was looking good. Yes, he was. <laughs> Don't worry about what he had on. Just know he was looking good. His car was shining. You could tell he had just went to the car wash. You know men have to get that car wash before they pick that woman out. But anyway, listen, so we're eating. He's looking good. I'm looking at him. I, you know, I'm thinking I'm looking nice and everything. I'm looking cute and you know, just pulled together. I'm, as Selena Johnson says, I'm pulled up. I was pulled up. I'm more pulled up than you. <laughs> He's being a gentleman, but there was a problem. No, listen, I'm not being picky. Just, just listen. He does not want to be in a relationship. No, he said he's not ready for a relationship. He's not ready to settle down. He's been hurt. The last girl he was with played him. If he feels like, you know, he needs to be free right now. He needs to explore the world. He needs to go out and and meet women. But he he told me that when I'm with him, it's gonna be like I'm with him. That I I will never even know that there will be other women in his life. That when we're together, that it will feel like we're together. And that I won't feel like there's anyone else in the picture. Can you believe that? So what should I do? But I want to go out to the Ruth's Chris next week. <laughs> I want it a steak and potatoes. I'm lonely. I want somebody to come lay with me on the couch and watch TV. I want somebody to cuddle with. I want somebody to help me when times get rough. But I want somebody to hug me when I get home from work. I want somebody to get dressed up for. All right, you're right, you're right. I'm gonna just call him and tell him that this is not gonna work. I deserve more than that. I don't wanna get hurt. You know, when I call him, he's not available because he's with somebody else. Thank you, girl. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call you back. Stop, 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 stop. I'm, I, I heard you, I'm gonna call you back. I ain't gonna punk out. I'm about to call him right now and tell him, look, I got standards. I know where I'm going. I know where I want to be and what kind of man needs to be in my life. And I just, I ain't looking for no placeholders right now. So if you know you don't want a relationship, then I can't even waste my time with you because I'm gonna get hurt. You're not gonna treat me. You're not gonna bring your best to the table. You just want to play play. And I don't want to play play. This ain't no play pen. So I was thinking, I understand where you're coming from. Okay, so Michael, I'm looking for more. I want more. Michael, hey, it's Delorean. Uh oh, you know it's me. <laughs> well, you just better because there's only one. <laughs> So, listen, um, and I was thinking about our conversation and, you know, you saying that you're not ready to settle down. Like, what do you, what do you mean by that? I mean, what would it be like if I were to spend time with you? Will I have access to you? It's not going to be like I'm waiting in line or anything, is it? I do want to date you. I do, but never mind. No, no, I had a good time. When can we get together again? It's three weeks away. Are you going out of town? We'll just take it day by day and we'll have fun like you said and you know, we'll see where it goes from here. Bye. She is going to kill me. Dang, you need to let me call you back. Girl, 
I let him have it. Do you hear me? I told him straight up, I'm looking for a man who can rise to the occasion, who can step up to my standard and my level, and who's gonna be there for me. I am number one, I am the only one, and I ain't on no list because I am the list. He asked for me in my house, <laughs> you need to at least be in a place where you are looking to date me, not play with me. Yes, girl, what do you say? He asked me if we could get together, uh, he asked me if he could, we could get together tomorrow. Yes, he did. Bow down, bow down, sir. <laughs> so let me go pick out my outfit. Let me go pick out my outfit, my ensemble for tomorrow. <laughs> All right, girl, bye. <laughs> hey, Michael, I need to talk to you. I wanna let you know that as much as I would love to continue spending time with you and getting to know you, I have to be honest with you. And more importantly, I have to be honest with myself. Um, before any feelings start to really get involved and any you know, true time is really invested, I need to let you know where I am. I didn't fully explain to you over dinner, but I wanna just let you know now. I'm in a place where I am ready for a relationship. I'm looking for someone who is also in a place that he's ready to seriously date and get to know me, to court me, and truly invest time in me and to lead to a relationship. I'm not looking to really play around or dibble and dabble. I don't have a lot of men that I'm dating or hanging out with or spending time with because I've really, I've been around the block and I know what I'm looking for. I know what I want. And I'm at a place right now where I have a lot going on in my life. I'm going places, I'm building my career, I'm really focused. So I need a man who's in that same place. And it just really sounds like to me, you're not quite, we're not, we're just not on the same page and it's no love loss. Um, it doesn't mean that I didn't have a good time with you or that I don't think you're a great guy from what I know, but it just sounds like we're in two different places. So I just want to be honest and upfront with you and let you know I can't continue to give you my time if you don't really know what you want. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm sure you can respect that. Although I appreciate the time, you know, I can't, I gotta be honest, I, I can't, I don't think we can, you know, move any, move any further. Cause I, I can tell you're a ladies man right now. So, and I understand that. I, I'm glad you respect that. <laughs> no, that's not cold for try harder. That's cold for come back around when you're ready, when you've evolved, <laughs> when you know what you want in life. <laughs> Thank you so much and you take care of Michael, all right? Another one bites the dust. But let me tell you, it's so much easier on yourself when you put you first. If you know you're looking for a relationship and you want to seriously date someone of substance, there's no need in wasting time with someone who doesn't know what they want. It's just no, it's only going to hurt you. It's going to waste your time. It's going to set you back. So there's the wrong way to approach it and there's the right way to approach it. But there's going to come a time where you have to make a choice when you when you realize that the man you're interested in or the man that you're getting to know doesn't want what you want. And in that moment, you gotta seize that moment. You gotta seize that moment and you have to put you first. Because settling for someone who's still playing the field and playing around and doesn't know what they want, that's not putting yourself first. That's putting him first. And why would you put somebody that you don't even know like that first? Why would you put someone else first? We need to woman up. We need to get, pull ourselves up and speak our minds. You're gonna win some, you're gonna lose some, but you'll never lose yourself when you hold yourself to your standards.